Welcome back to Draymond Does Gaming. Draymond here playing more Symphony of War, Nephilim Saga. So we have done a few different things here. Um, I did go through a lot of the arenas. Um, you can see now we have 74,000 gold. Um, basically, um, purchased, you know, all these extra mercenaries and stuff. Um buying a few different things in here that I thought we might have needed um, for artifacts etc um, so if we take a look at our armies just to give you a quick update um, I've made Draymond Squad all gold because it's just pretty awesome I don't think I changed any of their um, relics though like, these are all still the same yeah um, I don't think anything really changed on jewels. Um, swapped around some in Godiva. They have a second um, shooter now. Or oh wait, in Barnabas. Um, yeah, not not a whole lot has changed really in in these regards. Stefan's unit is still very similar. Um, got this one to be a fire mage because we didn't have um they weren't they didn't have the class yet so that's about nice um abigail is still the same um here we just made gold <laughs> i used i used all the proof of merits to make people um their gold class so that was that was pretty nice um so you'll see that in some of these we added Change the crossbow men in Lysanders to be a, another gunner. Um, I think we gave them uh, Aldor's shield as well. Uh, Yaromir is now gold. Um, and just we've upgraded all their units here. Um, same thing, Beatrix. We added another. Um, these guys are all fully frontline um, and actually moving it. There. Uh, let's do that. Put you in the front line because that makes more sense. Um, Zealous's squad. So yeah, we've we've filled out Zealous's squad basically with all those mercenaries and stuff that we had. Um, two of these guys riding behind to heal. Um, on top of that, just a nice little front line here. Um, Kuroda now has his own squad. This used to be Lord Karna's squad, um, but Kuroda actually has a massive leadership, so um, changed it to his squad and basically just filled it out, made, made Lord Karnath gold, etc. Um, filled out the artifacts as well. Same thing with General Ragavi, golded her... Um, just made sure everyone was up upgraded to their final forms. Warlord Tatar, same thing. Um, Ephraim, you'll see his whole whole front line is uh, golden. His back line is war bows, and he's also got this net um, sword master with them. Um, Godiva, here's Godiva. Basically, exactly like Barnabas's squad, right? Very similar. Um, so that's that's pretty cool, um, and then Roland has the extra gunner in the back instead. Um, Cloud renders the same; nothing really changed here. Matriarch again; um, nothing again has really changed here. I wish I could have gotten another frontliner, but not enough leadership and stuff. So um, this is where we're at with that, um, and we made her gold. And then Catherine's squad is actually now, instead of all these guys being um, just like the soldiers, they're now all swordsmen. So, very it's surprisingly powerful squad here, which is pretty cool. Um, and that's about, that's about it. So, um, we're up to our full 3, 6, 9, uh, 18, 20 squads now, so which... If we can deploy that much, that'd be great. Um, all our texts filled out, all our uh, conversations are done. So we're going to get right on into 
Chapter 30, Armageddon. I'm very sure this is the finale mission, so um, let's deploy. Mount Potomia. Very neat. Very neat looking. Oh, we got the heartbeat in the background. Very lightly, though. Even in my headphones, it's very light. I feel like I saw you just this morning, false one. Bothersome pest. Oh, shoot. <laughs> so this is what it has come to. No finesse, no intrigue, just a brutish battle to the death. Should expect, should come to expect such dull barbarism from humans. Let us see if your hodgepodge of heroes has the metal of your ancestors. All right, well, we will, we will see. Chapter 30, Armageddon. Oh. Much has changed since last we did battle Dilnar. Before the first war, humanity was united in banner and in faith. Now your people were are born lost and without purpose. Although this has made you easy to manipulate, it tempts me to put your species out of its misery and render your kind extinct forever. Okay, yeah, so we can only deploy 20. Um, okay. Kind of see what we need to do here. Um, just kind of get up in there and just blast them, eh? We have a Donari temple. We have the Nephilim army home base. Okay, so just don't lose Draymond. Easy enough. So what is this guy? Threat. 200,900. Okay. Colossal. Okay. Got it. Um, it's kind of similar to the Ogre Battle one. Final boss in Ogre Battle 64. Big guy. Appendages. Probably have to attack him with everybody. Um, okay, okay. That's this seems fine. Um, I'd like Abigail and Cloud Render to be up here just so they can get to like these archers on the sides, or even like these guys. Um, can I move you? Because otherwise, I want to get like my. Like Barnabas, Godiva, and Orlant down here. Two, three, four, five, six. So these guys can all move seven. Um, you know, let's do like. Yeah, because then we want to put like. Maybe some heavy hitters here. Lysander. Uh, or heavy hitters. Um, defensive guys here. Um, where's Ephraim? Ephraim. Zelos could be really good there. And then just kind of everybody else. Escuja. Stefan. Just fill out everyone. Di oh, Diana should probably be up here. Um, remove. Remove. Put Diana there. Beatrix. Ephraim. Yaromir. Kuroda. Matriarch. 
Tar, Gregavi, and Gather. And I guess that's it. Here we go. We've deployed everybody. This is everyone that we have. So what do we do here? Do we just go out and attack them all? Let's go straight at it. I can do this. Kinda wanna put Abigail here and just blast these guys, because that seems like a very very tough thing for us to get through. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Um same thing, like get up here, cloud render. Just blast them yeah so now these guys are so incapacitated right yeah so if we do this come in here just hit them with that charge nice then drop back Go Diva. Maybe even finish the this squad off because I don't feel like the others are that important. Actually, before we do that, we should Meteor. Maybe like this. Yeah, that would be good. Nice. Because you have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, you can only get to there. Too bad. Um. Hmm. Okay. Barnabas is just going to go straight up here. Attack these guys. I mean, that's pretty good. I think dropping back to there is fine. Go Diva. You can even teleport someone up, like Diana. That would probably be really good, too. I'd like to do this. We don't even have to worry about it. We'll wait there. And we might as well, like, terrorize them all. Um. Yeah, I'm very tempted to have Diana just be, like, in the forefront here and just stomp everybody. If we go here with you, you can't reach. If we go there, you can attack these guys with everyone. It's pretty good damage. Got rid of their healer. Very nice. For my people, for my homeland. I can hear you. Like Zelos to get up to here. It's like I'm tempted. Oh, we also have Blessing available too. So if I teleport like you up here to attack and then move Zelos up here to like squash this guy or something, might be very good. Or vice versa. Because she can get to there and then there. Yeah. Okay. We're going to do this and hope Zelos can finish off these guys, which I think he should be able to. Yep, yeah, he did. Um, I mean, if we can't attack, we might as well, right? 
didn't know she could do that. That's pretty freaking awesome. Uh, yeah, we'll just continually meteor these guys again. They're all pretty low on health. We'll take that. Um, right now we're defending, though, um, jewels, which is very nice. So is there someone else we can get up to here? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We could get Ephraim up to there. But that's not really great. Because he's, he's not as defensively strong against all of this. Um, I could get Roland just to go up here. You have someone move up behind him to heal him. Yeah. Maybe we'll do that. Big heal. Power. Blessing. Roland. To move in right here. And just do that. And now we're up to full HP and we're up in this business, which is very nice. We'll wait there. Break their just kind of want to move everybody else up. Raskuja can get up to there, so we will. I must stay strong. Anyone need healing? Nope. Perfect. Ready for the barbecue. It must be done. And then just getting every oh wow, he can move very far. That was cool. Perfect. Everybody else get up. As far as we can. Um and there we go, let's see how this plays out. Yeah, we don't even know what they're going to be doing. Increase our leadership. Doesn't matter anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah, one of the nice things about doing all the arenas was everybody leveled up. So everyone's in the 50s, which is fantastic. And look at that huge healing potential. Interesting. I guess they only had the frontliner. Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah, I'm not really worried about these guys. Okay, he's got a bubble. So we probably can't attack him. What is... Watch out, he's winding up to swipe us with those claws. Don't stand in their path. Oh, okay. Got it. Okay. I mean, that's... That's pretty straightforward. Okay, we want people... Up as far as we can... Okay. I need to be brave. Um, well, I mean, we might as well just do that. <laughs> Doesn't hurt. Um, we need to kill this guy so you can get out of the way. So we'll just do this. That means you can get to here. You're not being in the way or anything. Let's move over one. Roland as well. Uh, 
arena token. Do I really need it? I think we just move people up and around. People are, these guys are going to be coming this way. You can reach us, and that's it, so... Might as well hit that. Um... Yeah, we can't really get, like, you up too far. Maybe if we get rid of this guy. My friends are counting on you. <laughs> Alright, perfect. Okay, I was gonna say, if they really one guy left, we'll get up to here. And then we really just want everybody as far up as we can to deal with everyone else. Yeah, it doesn't look like we can attack him. Yeah. So what do we need to do in order to attack him? I don't know. Very likely we just have to kill everybody. A lot of these games, that's kind of what you have to do. So just get up, don't stand in the red. Very straightforward. So this puts us to a nice position where everybody is safe. I could, I could do Exemplar on you because you'll charge forward. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. We'll end it there and we'll see, kind of see how that goes. Ooh. Neat um, graphics. Very unlike anything we've done so far, so this is interesting. I always like final battles that change out the mechanics a little bit. Something new, um, but not like a big stretch of what it is, because you also don't want them to be like, this is entirely new, that nothing we've done before is like this, and it's like, well, yeah, don't want that, but, okay. It's quite the gambit coming here to the Divine Realm, the bridge between what you know to be your home in the endless darkness beyond this fragile barrier. I would admire such boldness, if from anyone else. Damn, nothing can get through that shield. Stop those reinforcements from overwhelming us and avoid those hot spots. He's targeting them with his magic. Right. Which we are already aware about. So. Oh, he can't quite reach. That is so unfortunate. Like, extremely unfortunate. Uh, you can get all the way back here, though. So we're doing that. Perfect. Just wait there for now. Um, we will use that meteor... And we will use terror because we can. I can do this. Makes sense to Lysander here and just blast these guys. Perfect. Because Abigail then can move in here. Blast these guys. Let's Cool models, I like that. <laughs> Can't hit me. 
<laughs> so many dodges. It's fantastic. All right. How do we deal with this? Uh, who can get over here? Oh, okay, you can get like all the way up here. That's actually probably pretty good. Nice. Just kind of move out of the way. Volant can get up here. Probably worth it to hit that guy. Uh, but before we do that, we can also meteor shower. So let's do that. Nice. Because that should make all of these guys that much weaker. Okay. Actually, if we go here, we're in ambush territory. Okay. I so wish you could reach. Okay. We teleport Zalos to here. Because I want him to blast this guy. Oh, they had a Valkyrie in there. Okay. Makes more sense now. That means you can get all the way up here and hit this one. Okay, that was some more hits than I thought we would take. I'm going to push you back to there. Kuroda can't quite reach. Oh, you can reach up here. So that's, that's actually very nice. Nice. Okay. Well, we might as well use us. Yeah. So I really want to get this guy out of the way so we can have um yeah you come in here can you actually oh diana can reach them perfect that's what matters because then you no not there that's not where i clicked that's where i clicked Perfect. Um, there's just these two guys left. Could teleport someone up there. To hopefully take one out. Let's get as far as we can. Wait. Yeah, because these guys are like full. So if we meteor here... Or we just, maybe we bless you to hit here. Because jewels, never mind, can't actually hit him from there. Hmm. It's like, I want everybody else here. Um, maybe we... Oh, who would be a good target for you to hit? Probably these guys. Stay strong, everyone. So we just do this. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. And then we bless you. I need to be brave. Hit them with everything we got. And then we move uh, basically everybody else up here. Matriarch can get to here. 
Gavi here. Yeah. I think that's pretty good. Okay, I saw that one coming. That's fine though. What? Even more? Don't tell me you have to kill them all in like a turn. Can we hit him now? We can. Okay, well that makes this very interesting. Let's do this. Okay. How do we how do we want to do this? Just have I guess we just hit him with everything we can. Abigail to here. Because this seems like a good one for getting some hits in. Yeah. We'll come back. Raskuja. Okay, so that's... Actually, we want to do like that. Get in behind and hit. Nice. Big hits. School is in session. Feel like we want to get as far over as we can to any charge that we can. We almost got their front down. So we're getting there. Okay, let's keep doing this. Nice. Good amounts of damage. You guys keep stabbing. Nice. We're so close to getting these. We're gonna do this. Seems like a pretty good hit here, which is nice. Oh, we lost one. It's our first person we lost. Uh, yeah, Ragavi, come in here, blast away. Getting there. Honestly, I just kind of want Stefan to come over here and just take out these guys. Nice. Just take out that squad. Alright, Diana. You can come over here, though. Nice. One gone. Very good. <laughs> we still have so many guys. Um, What's our next Lysander actually can't quite reach. Your we'll just go right there for now. Seems like a good plan. Nice. 
nice. Nice. Okay, two of them are gone. All right. It's not bad. Um, Godiva can actually get in here. So we're going to do that. And get back out. Yeah, we'll do this. Seems very nice. For my people, for my homeland. I mean, we might as well hit him with everything we got there. <sighs> That's pretty huge. He has no more hands. It must be done. Oh, he has he has no more hands. We can just hit him. That seemed like a good amount of damage. Like an extremely good amount of damage. Do I want... who else do I want to get in here and hit him? Um... Because we should use this. Honestly, I'm thinking Catherine again because that was a ton of damage that she did. Go for it. Nice. More than half dead. From Meteor, I don't know, you guys. Because they seem like they need to be. And then... It's Exemplar... You, in case they do come down this way. And let's teleport you back that way. So they have, like, Cloud Render to focus on instead. That seemed like a pretty good... Pretty good for us there. Oh, they could reach him. You know what? That's fine. They didn't do much to him. Ah, oh, they still are charging stuff on. Okay. Well, that could be worse. Eh? That's what you want to see. Perfect. So this is an interesting battle. Okay. So we've taken out all of his arms. So he's probably going to get another shield here because these guys aren't all dead. So we'll have to focus them down. Oh, we lost a guy. All right. Glad I put the uh, thing on him. The heck is that? Attack that hits everyone around. Do not like that. That's not fun. Jesus. Like, that's not even part of... See, that's... Okay, this is something I don't like. They tell you about these mechanics, and then it's not using those mechanics. It's using something else. Like, why are all these guys getting hit? There's no reason for it, right? We need to destroy those soldiers quickly. He's going to absorb them again and gain more power. I didn't know he absorbed them the first... Well, I guess he kind of did, didn't he? Oh, now this is rough. Where these guys all are. 
Okay. We're going to need to do that here. Yeah. Yeah, because we're going to need some of you guys to hit in. Oh, actually, oh, you know, you don't, I don't want you there. So Ephraim can make it all the way back there. And Lysander can make it here. Okay. Okay. Just trying to figure this out. I mean, this is a no-brainer. Alongside this. Perfect. Um, Godiva could get in there and hit one of these guys, or I could just use Abigail. Can't quite reach the back. But she can get over here. And that's probably better than Ephraim getting over there. To be perfectly honest. Nice. Do you want to take this guy out? Because that means Lysander can at least get in here and a decent chance at that guy. Yeah. Nice. Because now hopefully Jules can take out that one. Okay. Wow, that was not the expected result there. Hmm, I don't have any um, you guys over here, eh? Shoot. At least you can kapow them. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, let's see if we can just take all of them out here. So close. All right. Okay. Raskuja. Yeah, take them out as best as we can. No free action, eh? Does mean then that you can get in here. Okay, I mean, we could send in Catherine here and then teleport her back as well. Because that would be the most ideal, right? Send Barnabas up here, take out this guy. Send him up. Um, Roland can take out this one, very likely, to, yeah. Just get over there. Godiva can take out this one. And move there. Okay. Who's missing units? Because we want to heal. So yeah, I think we do this then. Send Catherine in here. So close. Okay, that's unfortunate. Teleport her out. On 
honestly. Heal yourself. <laughs> You're gonna need it. Um, blessing. Yeah, we might as well use it on Abigail. Perfect. Okay, only this one guy left. That is so unfortunate. I must stay strong. Yeah, let's heal up you. There we go. Perfect. Um, heal yourself up. Nice. A paladin never surrenders. Perfect. Yeah, basically just trying to get everybody to heal up as much as we can. Oh, all right. It's unfortunate. One guy left. As long as he doesn't get super powered here or something like that. Nice. Okay. Perfect. He can't absorb someone who's not there. Why are we getting hit again by everybody? I don't like that. Didn't explain that mechanic to me. Um. Okay. Yeah, we can only heal. Okay. Might as well revive, heal. Might as well. Heal up whoever we can. Perfect. School is in session. Nice. Perfect. Um, wait. Who else? Let's, yeah, like, let's bring our big heavy hitters in. Yeah. Um... Nice. Yeah, just heal yourself up, I guess. Same thing here. I mean, that's basically all we have to do here. Just get people forward. Be able to heal. Try not to die. Is that it? Oh no, Yaramir has 
one as well. Yeah, I guess get up here. Kill that guy. Done. So this next turn we should just be able to blast him. Should have no shield. More people are coming in. But I think we can take him out. We had so much split damage between everything last round. With his arms and stuff. Oh jeez, come on. Oh, if you're on these, do you take damage or something? Do you know how much I pity your kind, Draymond? I've watched your supposed great minds try to make sense of your history. I've seen your institutions lie to your great masses under the guise of maintaining peace and control. Despite this, how little control you has your kind ever had. Your fates are predetermined, and history will see me as the great truth teller. The one who saved humanity from its own hubris. Doubtful. Yes, you've done enormous damage to our kind. It'll take many generations to repair. Perhaps it will never happen. It never will happen after so many centuries of spilling our own blood. Wasted blood. But now, we know how to recapture our destiny. All we needed was to see and know the enemy, and it is within us. You and your cult of poisoned manipulated us, but you overestimate our, your power. When you're dead, more just like you will continue to weave chaos, but our fate will once again be ours to decide. Do you feel that, Xenatus? I know you can. Surely you feel how my heart is at peace. Even if I die today, I fulfilled my purpose. I've woken my kind to who you are, and I will rest in peace knowing your grip on humanity is broken forever. Yep. Pretty gosh darn well. Okay. I want to move people around so we can just... Yeah, we're going to take him out this turn. If Diana's is doing that much to him. Stay strong, everyone. Okay, get over here. Nice, free actions. Alright, Barnabas. Charge attack in. Very good. It's going to be a hard judge to um, um, see who can get the <laughs> ending blow, though, that's for sure. Is that close enough where Draymond can get in there and do one? Do I send, like, Yaromir in? And then Draymond? Nope. Alright, that would have been enough. Aldor's Tower Shield. Because that's what I needed. Draymond. I imagine you foresaw this. In the end, I have served my purpose, and to a far, far greater power I will be of use. And then the races of this little realm will understand the meaning of humility. Is he dead? Almost. Stay here. With my power, I will bury this threat forever. Draymond. I'm sorry. I can't let this happen. Do you think this you can stop me? Yes, but not by crossing blades with you. I felt what's coming for a long time. This is the end of a story that you've sought to make true. If you want to take Xanatus' power, you'll have to kill me. Draymond, there's no other path for me. Not in this world, not in this life. The people of our country could not and should not tolerate any existence. And we have something in common. For me, it's only a matter of time. What? Our whole lives, in these moments, you've always told me to wait and watch while you handle it. Now I'm asking you to return the favor. Let me handle this one, Zealous. It's time for us to disappear. 
You really have surpassed me as I had always predicted. But you know, I'll never forget this. What you asked me to sacrifice. The way I see it, we'll have plenty of time to get over it, here or in hell. Right then, do what you came to hear. Do what you came to do here, Damned. during the interregnum two months later. Hey Sybil, and of course the venerated Master Sergeant himself. Welcome to the new improved monastery. Howdy, good to see you Stefan. Stefan, do you think she'll even speak to me? Can't make any promises. You see, I'm pretty forgiving. I get that. That Lysander's got a silver tongue if there ever was one. Ain't all your fault in my view. Alright. Thank you, Stefan. You bet. Well, let's not keep her waiting. <laughs> Such a giant, it's still funny. They're here, love. I mean, Diana, I mean... <laughs> yep. With no one to carry the Temple scrimp Scriptures legacy, this book's secrets are locked away forever. That the corrupt hearts of men will someday exploit our newfound ignorance, its certitude is troubling, and one wonders what I must now do to protect the future. My apologies, it's good to see you again. They say we've decided not to take the title of Grand Mistress of the Temple, but why? Who better serve in this role? It's not my title to bear. A mind and soul of great caliber and purity will come to fulfill the role, and I can only do my best until then. Did you need something of the Temple? Diana, I just wanted to see if now would be a good time to make my induction to the Sisterhood of Justice official. You mentioned, back in Empor, that we should try to do this when we get the chance in front of all the Temple. I know I've much to answer for, so perhaps I've lost the privilege. And, well, I was also wondering if Barnabas and I could get married here. Whoa, hold up a minute. Well, now that you've got me in a pickle, asking all formally and like... Oh, come on. What are you waiting for? The right time to settle down? Ha. Fair enough. Ah, uh, just... You just like to make it formal. To be honest, I'd forgotten all about that. To me, induction in the sacred order was official then and there. But after your decision to fall a Lysander, I still see you still want to see you mature a bit, but not fall so easily to suggestion. You must be your own person. One year of satisfactory service to the temple, and you will reach the first rank within the Sisterhood of Justice. That's the best I can do, and I believe you have what it takes. In regards to a marriage ceremony, talk to Stefan about that. Though I suggest the groom agree voluntary first. <laughs> hey, not bad. All things considered, what do you say? Thank you so much, you won't regret this, I swear. Draymond, we go into the unknown. With the Dark God slain, the people of Tanra again have the power to bring about change for both good and evil. I do not know what lies ahead for you, but if you need me, I'll be there. Okay, so we're gonna get like epilogue stuff for each person, or major characters anyways. A hundred years of undue burden upon our people ends today. May the house of Dargon never be broken again, and may Bidonar be by your side, my love. Well, brother, are you going to be comfortable as king, or must I usurp the throne myself? I am the official Princess Royale, you know. You really mean it. I'm jesting, dear brother. Oh, my stars, how dangerously naive. I implore you to depend on your followers, for there will be many who wish you harm. I will, dear sister. Yeah, he just has to shoot him first. 
Raymond, we had such a journey together, but our struggle has only begun. Don't forget about me. Guess they're keeping this place as a memorial. World's just got just about enough of them. Ain't no metal gonna bring these boys back. Brave young ones, you're the best among us. Draymond, I ain't got much left in me, but I reckon you do. Don't waste this. You know how it goes with war, you can fix it. Over two years passed since Draymond first saw battle. Two years that have changed Tanner forever, but foremost in Draymond's heart, forge friendships and bonds that will never be broken. Families of Radio once torn apart and deprived what matters most are finally reunited. As the sky returns to normal, the Nephilim army arrives back home to find that people are celebrating the end of the war. The signs of the Xanatus cult are removed, so too wanes the age of nobles as the people look forward toward an uncertain future. Lysander. Over here, prisoner. A letter for you. From a friend of yours. I've been told to bring you whatever you need to finish this task in the letter. You're the one lucky bastard. Draymond. Tenor owes you greatly, Lysander, for sparing, sparing it the rule of another tyrant, the one I could have become. I have one less request for you. Give our country the blueprints to a better world. Very well, Draymond. It will be done. And there we go. Symphony of War, the Nephilim Saga. We've completed... A series that is fantastic. Starring <laughs> Barnabas Fitch, the former Master Sergeant of the Imperial Army. After decades of being a soldier, he finally retires to his ranch in Melmond County. Approached many times with offers to join the New Republic, Barnabas rejects, preferring the simple life. Barnabas and Sybil had grown close during the film War, then Sybil is a miracle, a son who, with his two future brothers, will be Barnabas' greatest joy until the end of his days. This is cool. This is a neat little epilogue right here. It's Byron, the restless heart. After regaining her statue with the temple, she turns her passion to raising her three new sons with Barnabas. Though she would not see battle again, her love for her children made her all the more invested in the future free of evil tyrants she fought so vigorously to defeat. <laughs> Rascuja, the Bartek Motor Mercenary. After the defeat, death of Xanatus, he quickly returned to his homeland with a king's ransom and reward for his service to the Nephilim army. Because of the great boon he provided his people, Rascuja became a venerated alpha male to bear a small army of offspring. Rascuja lived to a ripe old age and passed away surrounded by expansive and adoring family. That's fantastic. Good for him. This is one of my favorite characters in, a, I think, one of these types of games. It was just neat. Adelia Hogan of the Sisterhood of Mercy and Diana is bonded with Alex back in her custody. Adelia returns to her duties of Diana's support. Her example and conduct have been held up at the exemplary priestess of the Sisterhood of Mercy, which defined the ancient order for many years to come. Though forbidden by the temple, Lysander and Adelia had fallen in love. Adelia has not yet decided to leave tradition, but the two lovers have been inseparable. Good. Yaromir. 
Karl Jarmel Jaromir the Thirteenth, Duke of the Duchy of Embor. He committed his duchy and his life to the Felm army from its very inception all the way to the end. As the last major nobleman from a bygone era, Jaromir found himself alone in a new world, one that looked past the time of lords. The founders of the Republic proposed Jaromir become a proconsul, the highest rank of government under the consul. And to function as a representative for the Embor region, Armir, putting his people first, accepted the role and abandoned the idea of noble lineage. This astounding act of humility served the new republic well, setting the stage for new traditions and institutions that would create a lasting peace. Nice. And there is Bergen, war hero of the Secession War. Having taken his own life, ending his rebellion, and Terrors gave way for Draymond to become the new face of those opposed tyranny. Proconsulate is order a monument to General Antares, not only for his service in the Succession War, but also a spark that lit a fire in the people's hearts. Nice. <laughs> Beatrix Pendergast, adopted daughter of Edmund Petr Pendergast. The death of Edmund, Grandmaster of the Followers Anatus, Beatrix had a brief moment in her life aligned with the common goals of others. In the aftermath of the Nephilim War, the Pendergast financial empire was left in shambles, but Beatrix managed to sell the scraps for a respectable sum. She founded Magic University in the city of Sandraka, which would become the main hub of magical hopefuls across the world. Due to her efforts of her divine bloodline, she lives for another 120 years, wow, completely defining the world of academic magics for generations. Lysander Bradford former general of the Imperial Army and former chief advisor of the Nephilim Army. After the Nephilim War, Lysander served time in prison for his mutiny. Despite this, the proconsulate approached Lysander with a special invitation to become the primary author of the New Articles of the Republic. Using his rich education in philosophy and history, Lysander put his entire soul into creation, making sure to help set up a government that would be just compassionate and sustainable. Lysander would be known as one of the founders of the Republic, perhaps its most influential. After earning his freedom, Lysander would eventually rise through the Pope Consulate itself and became Radia's head of state. He never spoke with Draymond again. Lysander had become very close with Delia during the Nephilim War. While Lysander's actions greatly strained their relationship, Delia saw a certain vulnerability in him and wished, him, wished to become the guiding light he so needed. After he earned his freedom, they would marry and were blessed with many children. Good. He's well written in this. Abigail Kissim Dargan, priestess of the Sisters of Mercy. Her time at the temple had passed in her heart, and she left the Sisterhood of Mercy to live in Sayuna and became the darling of the new kingdom of Sayuna. During the Nephilim War, she discovered she has affinity for dragons and they for her. Abigail committed to the study of dracon draconology, further and developed her own personal brood. Narima Reza, warrior queen of Sayuna, Jules fell in love with her, and through her royal mar marriage, she became Queen Narima Jargon. She eventually became the true power behind the Sayuna throne as Jules scaled back its role. Narima's influence and reign solidified Sayuna's status on the world stage as a great power for centuries to come. Jules Kasim Dargan, former officer of the Imperial Army, heir to the Dargan royal dynasty, and the new king of Sayuna. King Dargan's dynasty had vanished after Queen Soha's demise at the end of the Ethereum Crisis, but Dargan also bore Son, Kazim. Because of the exhaustive work of the Scions of Dargon, they tracked the royal lineage to lie with Jules, and he has become King Jules Kazim Dargan II. This was a role Jules did not expect, and for some time did not enjoy. Stopping short of exhausting himself, Jules saw fit to abdicate the responsibility of military and political affairs to Narima. Liberated from those burdens, Jules turned inward and advocated for the ascent of Sirian equality of life and was known as Golden Hearted King Kasim. That's cool. Good on him. Casimir, ah, who cares? <laughs> Former Prime Minister and the Emperor of Viridia. Bad guy. This even politician made many enemies, leading eventually to his demise. By the time of his death, his empire was in a state of total collapse, and the Philium army reigned supreme, and even the Xanatist cultists had turned their backs on him. Now possibly residing in the deepest hell, history sees Casimir as one of its most hated figures. Yep. Diana Abengard. <laughs> There's so many of these. I have a sore throat after. Arc Paladin of the Donari Temple, known forever as the Goddess of War. Though the war and burden Diana carried throughout its, uh, took its toll on her psyche, 
the world has changed for the better and she may be come to the, see the world she worked tirelessly to defend. She rejected calls for her to take the title of Grand Mistress of the Temple, knowing hers is the path of the warrior. In time, she will again hear the call for a champion to rise and defend the innocence of Tunra. Stefan? Yeah. <laughs> Stefan Duny, Ferner, former spy of the Denari Temple, enjoys his life with Diana, choosing to serve as a facilitator for the temple's many new challenges. It almost seemed inevitable that these two would fall in love despite their profound personal differences. Stefan leaves behind his former life of whimsy to walk steadfast with Diana for the rest of their days. Nice. That was a cute little love story between them. Zelos, former Imperial off Army officer and the man behind the hand is Anatus. Having lost his path during the Nephilim War, Zelos committed incredible war crime slaughtering distance and assisting the kidnapping of children. But one thing remained, his loyalty to Draymond. Able to watch his best friend of decades fall into a deadly trap, Zelos nearly gave his life to pave the way for the ultimate downfall of the Sanitus and end of war of Nephilim War. And then the Dancing Dragon Staff. Yeah. We'll let this run through as well. Who knows if there's anything at the end. Um, so thoughts on the game itself. Um, fun. Very fun. Um, very reminiscent of the Ogre Battle. Uh, Ogre Battle 64, um, specifically. Um, quite a lot of fun with the tactical turn turn-based battles versus like the real time um would i play this again maybe farther down the line um it doesn't look like there's much in variability other than like some bonding that you can do or you know team compositions and stuff maybe have a whole bunch more like archer units and stuff and things like that but beyond that um, I don't know if this is something that I would replay again, but I really enjoyed playing through it the one time. Um, you can play it on higher difficulties as well, like including like permadeath modes and things like that. So that could be something. Nope. And that's what I was wondering if there was something else at the end. Are you sure you're, you've forgiven me? Hmm, maybe. Oh? Sorry, I figured it was obvious. Just try not to listen to Lysander's honey to words for a while, huh? Of course. I'll be by your side for the rest of my days, with all my heart, I swear. So we must leave Viridia. Your mind is made up. My role in the Millennium War is over. Xanatus is finally dead. I came close to losing myself completely, Abby. I can't face the people of Armitage again, not for a while. I understand if they will not have you, then they will not have me, just the same. What lies ahead for us, Draymond? Xanatus' dying words still haunt me. I felt no deception in those words. Xanatus' hatred for Donar and for me cannot be described. I felt a certain peace in his final moments, as he, though he'd finished his job. We have reports. Some of the followers of Xanatus went into exile far to the east, bound for Grothnor, of all places. Grothnor? I've never even heard of this place. A frozen hellscape to the east in the unexplored continent. They say Xanatus himself emerged from a bottomless pit in the heart of Grothnor. Though, these are likely tall tales. It sounds dreadful. We will see. Wouldn't dream of it. This is why I'll be using Nibbler as our primary means of transport. Did you expect anything different? Ha, suppose not. I just hope I don't have to compete for your attention. Hey, Abby. Thank you for coming into my life. Couldn't imagine walking this journey without you. You're so blessed that Donnellar allowed us to cross paths. Let's see if we can seek him out and thank him ourselves. Oh, that's cute. Let's hope. <laughs> Memory of Zoro. Alright. Developer's cat, I guess. If that's the case, they should have uh, named a character in the game, too. Huh. That's very nice. Thank you, developers. Thank you for making the game. Oh, that's very awesome. Um, yeah, it's it's a it's a very good game. I'd put it up into not as good as Ogre Battle, but definitely you know right up there if you like that style of game. Um, this this would be one to play and try. 
Um, they also have the permadeath mode and stuff like that too, so you kind of have that same thing. If your character dies, then they're dead. So kind of could increase that as well. Maybe I would play it again on that mode. Um, in terms of difficulty and stuff, it wasn't overly difficult, so I would probably update up, up the difficulty. Um, only twice, I think we had to redo a turn because I found that the uh, that one blessing that you do that's supposed to make someone get targeted, targeted, they weren't getting targeted, and they went straight for um, main character instead. So I don't know if that's a bug or if they're always programmed to go for him, even if they have that, you know. So something something to think about. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd score this pretty high. Um, definitely a fun game to play um, right now. There's, I mean, there's a lot of these style of games coming out too, or out right now. So, but there's not a lot in terms of like the army management style. Um, I think Unicorn Overlord just dropped um, as, as I've been recording these. And that one's very similar to this as well it'd be something i'd be interested in playing if i could you know hook up my switch and stuff to the to the computer and everything um that'd be a very similar style game um to this that i that i liked uh but it does make me want to go back and play ogre battle again but i have that series already on my on my channel um you know it's it's stuff like that but this this has been a very fun experience and fun game so do i recommend it yes uh, save clear data? Sure. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so here. So I think we played it just on Captain. Enable permadeath. Yeah. Um, did we play it on Captain or Warlord? I don't honestly remember. <laughs> Captain, okay, yeah. That would be why. Captain is not that bad of a difficulty. I, I like playing through games first. Like, good starting play, point for most players. Experienced players, like if you know the system and stuff, play that one. I, I would probably play it on this, so more of this. Um, but yeah, it's it was good. It was a very good game, so. Um, what to expect next? Well, That's a good question. I honestly don't know. Um, I have a few games floating in my head on what to do. I might just do some one-offs as well. Um, but I need to have another series to play. I don't know what that series is going to be yet. So so you just have to wait for the future. Um, so thanks again for watching. It's been This has been an awesome experience. Um, I hope everyone enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now.